But there's something wrong in America. Joe Maurer makes $20 million a year to get up to the plate and hit a baseball. You know, today he hit a three-run homer. That's nice. But you guys hit a home run every day. Every day, every hour, because you changed the life of a child. My name is Diane Horsley. I live in Bagley, Minnesota, Clearwater County. I joined, asked me, um, so I could have a say in how daycare providers are treated and how they're heard, and just to be a part of, of um, making things consistent. We're with these kids 8, 10, 12 hours a day. We're their mother, their father, their sister, a counselor, chauffeur, teacher, you know, boo-boo kisser. <laughs> so yeah, we, we have so many opportunities to teach these kids um, social skills, um, how to share, um, how to get along with their peers, take directions from someone other than mom or dad. So I think without daycare providers, um, parents can work because we're the backbone. Because I want to be the change that I've been waiting for <laughs> as a child care provider for almost 27 years. Um, we have many needs um, that just haven't been met. If I'm involved with that, this process, things will get done. The union is providers doing what we um, need to do for our, to raise our, our profession. Well, I'd like us to see have a vote. Um, plain and simple, it's the American way. Have a vote. I see all providers in this state having a voice at the table. That we're smart, small business owners um, advocating for children and families. And that's my goal, is the society to start seeing our value. My world is bigger because of this. I meet more people. Um, it's plain and simple about that, expanding my world. I'm not, I'm not uh, this provider alone in the city of Moundsview. I'm up here in St. Cloud with sisters all over the state. Well, I think it's important to connect with other providers that have similar concerns and interests and um, you know, just find what we do to be valuable and important to, to work towards uh, getting this unionized so we can move forward. Well, I'd like to see, obviously, the uh, it get passed and so we can collectively bargain and you know, help uh, bring subsidies up for providers. Hopefully they'll uh, be able to take families that need the help and that are on the waiting list so we can try and help them get those families the services they need. And also I think it's important that we start treating ourselves like professionals that we are and having benefits and um, you know, maybe some type of fun that we can all uh, have a retirement package that we can you know, start investing our money together, come to some of these regional meetings in the area so that um, they can get more informed. I want people to see that we're united, we're all together, we're for the same cause, and if we get knocked down, we get right back up and charge on.